Okay, hello and welcome to Small Business Success Story, Salus Manifestation Candles and Jewelry. My name is Beth and I'm a librarian with the Business Technology and Periodicals Department here at the Central Library. We would like to encourage all of the attendees to visit mpl.org to stay connected and view our calendar of events. We also ask you to follow MPL on social media to stay updated on all our programs and services. We are so happy to welcome you to, to this evening's program. There will be a chance to ask questions of our presenter, Riviera Lambert, at the end of the program, so be sure to write down your questions and put them in the chat. A little background on our presenter. Ms. Lambert was born in Rockford, Illinois, and she is a health information manager, author, mental health advocate, and business owner. The background of her business is to help people with their spiritual journey and healing. The word solace means comfort, so she wanted her jewelry and candles to bring comfort into people's lives. Her candles are handmade with natural herbs, scented oil, and crystals inside each candle. Her jewelry line is made with earth stones that represent love, wealth, prosperity, and joy in one's life. Ms. Lambert's business is to help others be the best version of themselves. I will now give the floor to Ms. Riviera Lambert. Hi, thank you for that beautiful, beautiful welcoming. Um, yes, she is so correct. Uh, I've been, the, the reason why I started Silas Manifestation Candles, um, it was the honor of my son and my firstborn daughter, Amelia Sky. And my son's middle name is Silas. Uh, when he was born, he brought a little comfort into my life in the beginning, but now as he gets older, you know, boys will be boys. Um, when I started my company, um, company, I always wanted to help people. And during my spiritual journey of healing and dealing with uh, depression and dealing with a lot of trials and um, as a teenager to um, as an adult, I really took everything that I learned from my spiritual advisor and I decided, hey, I wanted to do a business and really help those who are dealing with mental health issues or those who want to break generational curses or they want prosperity. Anything that they wanted and need, I wanted to help my clients and show them better, a healthy, better way to how to heal and um, and cope with certain uh, mental health that they are dealing with. Um, being a business owner of Silas Manifest, uh, to Silas Manifestation Candles and Jury, it's been an up and down ride. Um, being a business owner, it has its downfalls, but it does have its perks. The most perks that I can actually say is that I got to meet beautiful, wonderful people that um, believe in the same thing that I believe in when it comes to chakras and they wanted healing and their spirituality. That was just a whole new world and just to be around those um, individuals and having a tribe like that was just been a blessing. And the other thing about business that do have the kind of downfall is it that um, you've got to really stay focused and you have to put yourself out there and you have to also um, remember to continue to not just put yourself out there, continue to sell and market yourself when it comes to social media or going out there face to face. You got to just keep doing it. And sometimes when you are working and or if you have children at home, it's kind of hard to really give your full attention to your business, especially if you don't have a plan when it comes to balancing work and life. The other thing I can um, talk about when it comes to being a business owner is that when you create a business, make sure you're doing it out of something that you really love and you enjoy doing. Um, a lot of us, not a lot of us, majority of the people that I have come in contact with that wanted to start their own business, they always think about the, the profit. How much money can I bring in? And um, am I going to be a quick millionaire? Is it going to be a quick instant uh, 
it's a gratification and that's not the case all the time. If you're not focused or this is something that you're not wanting to do or you don't have the passion and love for it, you're going to lose interest of it real quick. And it's not going to be as successful as you would like it to be. So if you're going to start a business, please, I advise everyone to start a business on something that you actually do love and you have passion about, something that you can sell, something that you're really good at and market it and just go and, you know, expect the best and don't give up on it. Um the other thing um, besides my business, I did connect uh, my book, The Secrets of How to Heal a Broken Rose, to my business. And my book specialize, talks about uh, healing um, from depression, being in domestic violence, bullying, things like that, and how to really heal from um, everyday struggles in life that we deal with. And with the book, it goes exactly with my jewelry and my candles because it gives you a good tip of a guide of how to heal and when you use my candles the candles that I have is lavender for healing um some for prosperity well uh calm happiness joy it goes along with my book because I really want people to attract that in their life um, I want everybody to be happy, have prosperity, joy, just love themselves and be true to they, who they are. And that's why I kind of um, put my book with my business at the same time and stuff to help others. Um, the other thing I could discuss about my business, South Manifestation Candles and Jury, is that it's been running for, oh, I think, almost a year now. And the good tips that I learned while running my business is that uh, Facebook has been nothing but a good friend to me. And that's where I get all my sales from is through Facebook. Uh, I created a Facebook page, uh, business page, and that's where I post all of my candles, my jewelry when it comes to rails, using a lot of hashtags when it comes to jewelry, evil eyes, spirituality, divine. I found my own marketing group where every time I post a jewelry piece or a candle piece, I include those group. And by me doing that, I noticed that my rails or my Facebook page was getting a lot of followers. And not only that, I was getting a lot of customers and was, I was able to bring in a lot of revenue just by doing uh, Facebook and marketing my products to people that around around the world. You'd be surprised um, when you marketed yourself on social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, even Snapchat of how many people you could really connect with to get your merchandise out there so you can make a profit and so you could um, start a uh, building clientele and making a name for yourself. Um, social media is a great tool to actually use and it really helped me a lot um, with that. And the other thing, other tips I could also provide when it comes to business besides a uh, marketing tool is that when you start your business, make sure you have Learn what your purpose is when it comes to your business. What is your mission plan? What are you doing it for? Um, who's your target audience? And from there, after you write that down, you'll be able to really be successful. And then you could worry about the budgeting. How much would it cost to get my products out here? How much would it cost to create a website? Do I have enough? How much money would I put in? How much money would it cost when it comes to supplies? And when you break all that down, you will know if this business is the right fit for you or this is just something that you might consider as a hobby if you have free time to do. And that's what I learned when I started my um, business, my candle and jewelry business. I had to really break it down to see how much is it when it comes to making candles? Is it expensive? Is it a high marketplace? Would I get enough revenue? When it comes to jury, would my jury be market profitable? 
and how much would it cost for the supplies, the, the needles, the bees, especially if I wanted to be all natural, um, the scented oils that I use for the bees and things like that. After I broke all that down and I see that, okay, if making candles costs a hundred dollars and making jewelry costs over 150, okay, I put that aside. Uh, that's how much my supplies will cost. How much would I bring in? And after I did the statistics and I analyzed and broke everything down, I noticed that I would be bringing a lot more money in and I'll be in the positive when it comes to making candles and jewelry. And it was also something that I love doing because it came, it helps me send out a helping hand to those who are in need. And after I discovered that, um, my business has been very successful um, since then after I broke down East Steps. And um, I believe that's it. Uh, I have to say um, to say about my um, my company. Anybody have any questions? Yeah, feel free to uh, raise your hands in the um, if you do have a question, and I can um, actually unmute you if you want to ask Riviera directly. And if there aren't, I can, I have a few questions I'd like to ask. Okay, well, my first question then is, um, do you have an attorney to help you with um, like tax stuff or um, liability or anything like that? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Um, the process when I started it, I went through LegalZoom. LegalZoom is a great website, great for getting your LLCs, uh, LLC, and also they provided me with a tax um, accountant and uh, a lawyer and all that stuff. So in that package, when I was uh, when I initially started, they actually helped me with the process of making sure. Everything was registered within the state, um, making sure that when taxes come that I did have a, a tax accountant uh, expert right there at my fingertips to help me file everything, to help me uh, to make sure everything was run smoothly so I don't have to owe nobody anything. So to answer your question, yes, LegalZoom, uh, they provided all that to me um, when it comes to setting up my business. Fabulous, fabulous. And did you have to purchase any kind of insurance? Yes, I did. And that was part of their package deal too. I did purchase um, insurance just in case you never know, especially True. with dealing with candles. Um, I noticed when I was doing a lot of research of how to make candles, uh, different type of uh, wax you have to use. I noticed that when you put certain herbs, natural herbs, flowers, or anything in there, it could catch on fire real quickly. Ooh. And when it does that, you know, it could cause if someone's not paying attention, you, you know, you could have a fire in someone's home. So I had to get insurance um, as I was putting herbs in there to make sure and put warning signs on the candles to let them know, hey, it's hot, you know, it's very flammable, you know, be careful, be, you know, be mindful. And so, so yes. I do recommend getting insurance when it comes to uh, your business, not just for candles, but anything you do for liability purposes. Thank you. And then also, have you ever considered doing a brick and mortar or is it just going to be, you know, mail order? Right now, it's just mail orders. Um, I, I like doing the mail orders right now, but who knows? Things might change. You, you never know. Perfect. Perfect. And if it, you did give a lot of advice, um, is there anything like mentorship wise that, you know, you would be willing to offer people? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, I do that on my free time, giving people, uh, mentoring them as far as business proposals, business credit, um, how, the steps to starting your business and how to create Excel spreadsheets, rev, all that. So yes, yes. 
fantastic, fantastic. Um, well, I guess if there's no other questions, um, I can, uh, we can go ahead and finish the program. Um, so thank you everybody for attending this evening's Small Business Success Story program. MPL offers many business related resources from Friel, Gale and Udemy business courses to demographics, industry, company, consumer information databases, and other small business resources that can be an entrepreneur's best friend, all free from MPL. Please check out the business research webpage on MPL.org by clicking on the research tab and then under resources, you can find business research for more information. We hope you will continue to keep up with all of MPL's offerings by visiting MPL.org and keep up with MPL's social media outlets for more great upcoming programs, especially our TikTok. It is very popular right now. Um, be safe and we'll see you soon. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.